In March 2020, the pandemic reached a tipping point in New York City. Suddenly, all offices had to shut down fast. Office workers across Manhattan scrambled to grab their laptops and important files and headed home. I'm Tamron Hall, and this is Reshuffle. For the attorneys and administrators in the New York office of global law firm Nixon Peabody, the transition to remote work wasn't a walk in the park. Still, for some employees, the flexibility of remote legal work had its perks. In the midst of this unusual year, the firm appointed a new CEO and managing partner, Stephen Zubiago. In this episode, we'll see how employees at the New York office under the leadership of their new CEO or reshuffling the workplace and reimagining when and where they go to work. Most of my practice is a healthcare practice, and I do corporate and regulatory work for healthcare providers. We have over 1,300 employees with 11 offices. I would have never believed that our office and our firm could work remotely for more than a year. Our industry is very social. We had a lot of in person meetings. So the transition to working remotely, I think, was pretty dramatic. It's scary. We didn't know if we would get busier or everything would just stop. We had never done a remote closing. We had to figure out a pathway to actually getting all the signatures and approvals all coordinated remotely. I get most of my socialization from going to work. And now that I wasn't coming into the office, I didn't have that anymore. How I dealt with it was by taking information from our leadership and from our staff and we did some Zoom calls. They were supportive. Everybody was like, Steve, what can we do to help you be successful and to have the firm be successful? Being in New York City was a little scary, knowing that it was an epicenter and knowing that uh, the COVID rates were increasing. I live next door and across the street from theaters. So to go from people all the time, all hours of the night to absolutely nothing was surreal. But sad at the same time because you knew it was like this for a terrible reason. We actually lost one of our partners, Chris Gagwich, early in the pandemic to COVID. Chris was a partner in our Long Island office. He was in my practice group and was somebody who was a very vibrant member of our team. He's young, he just turned 50 and physically very healthy. To see COVID take somebody like that made it so real so quickly for us. It made me realize how trivial all of the inconveniences were. I had to learn how to work from home. I had to learn how to spend all my time in a tiny New York apartment. It was all just trivialized by the real tragedies people encountered. We've decided to give our attorneys a lot more flexibility in terms of where they work, and they have flexibility in terms of when they work. Nixon Peabody has rolled out our attorney work policy. We are providing the opportunity for people to be in the office full time if they want to be, but also, or in addition, hybrid. So you're in the office a couple days, you're out of the office a couple days. It could be fully remote within a commutable distance, or it could be a work anywhere program for folks who are not within a commutable distance of a Nixon Peabody office there's still the opportunity to work at the firm. We also have flexible schedule arrangements, our flex time and reduced schedule opportunities for people who think that makes the most amount of sense for them and their practices. In an industry where you're asked to give a lot of yourself, a lot of your time, a lot of your mental capacity, I think it's important to be made as comfortable doing that as you possibly can. And I think nobody's gonna know that better than you. We spent a lot of time traveling and a lot of time working late nights and weekends. I think the greatest gift that I received was being able to have dinner with my family every night. So now I have the opportunity to rethink whether or not that physical presence is required or if it's something that we could in fact do via Zoom or over the phone and eliminate the need for folks to be traveling so much. This could just be a better work environment for work-life balance issues, for mental health, for wellness, 
Across America, C-suite leaders and their HR teams are rewriting the rules for a 21st century hybrid workplace. According to Accenture, 83% of people say a hybrid work model is optimal, where individuals have the ability to work remotely between 25 and 75% of the time. 63% of high revenue growth companies have already enabled productivity anywhere workforce models where employees have the option of working remotely or on site. One of the things that we've implemented is the mentoring nest, which leverages the silver lining of the pandemic where we get the opportunity to be virtual and organize a group of six to eight attorneys who get together virtually and talk about their careers and hopefully there'll be some organic mentoring relationships that develop as a result of that. Some of the more senior members of organizations overemphasize how important face-to-face -face is. A lot of the people that I've connected with and who are mentors to me and who I mentor were never in the same office as I am. They're spread out in our other offices across the country. I think our future is bright. I'd like to see us serve some different industries other than the ones that we serve now. I would love to see us be a first-in-class law firm celebrated and feted for our progressive work policies. I worry about the difference between getting through the last year remotely and it being ideal. I'm not sure those are the same thing. So I'm wondering when everyone starts to go back, what the ripple effect will be. There are some law firms that are saying, nope, everybody's back in the office, back to business as normal. There are others that are very innovative and bold and make some really sweeping changes in the way that they work. So it's gonna be interesting to see where the industry as a whole winds up in five years from now. We're gonna need to be nimble and agile and flexible and all of those adjectives as we try to work through what works best for each of us, for our clients and for our teammates. The positive that came out of all of this is it gave people more creativity with how they structure their life and how work plays a part in that. I plan to continue to work remotely probably two days a week. I've been seeing a, a trainer on Tuesday mornings and so a little bit of help to my uh, mental health and well-being. Call it the reshuffle. Who we are as humans at different times in our lives must play a central role in where and when we work. Nixon Peabody is an inspiring example of how a global company can shift the paradigm when it puts people first. This is Reshuffle.